from Ozarks First. You're watching Color 10 News at 10. And our top story here on our News at 10 on Color 10 tonight, new payday loan regulations could be on the way in Springfield. The city council is weighing two measures now that would require more transparency regarding the interest rates that people pay. A grassroots group rallied outside City Hall in favor of proposed changes for payday lenders. Our Francis Lynn is here to tell us more about these ordinances. Francis. David and Heather, I attended the gathering outside City Hall just a few hours ago where Faith Voices talked about these two payday loan ordinances. We have tried for several years to address the exorbitant rates that predatory loans um, are charging people, the really high interest rates, and that hasn't made any progress in the Missouri legislature. So some communities in Missouri are trying to address it by having these permitting fees because it will discourage predatory lenders from setting up shop in Springfield. Emily Bowen Marler works with Faith Voices and is one of the people supporting one of two payday loan ordinances. It just gets people caught in the cycle of debt where they're having to pay rollover fee after rollover fee after rollover fee and that's what ends up making the interest rate so high. Shy of actually committing a crime, I would urge anybody to try any other avenue other than a payday loan. Kathy Lutz had a bad experience with payday loans. Talk to family, talk to friends, talk to your boss, see if they could advance you on your pay. Anything but getting into the payday loan trap because 412% interest, which is what we paid on one of them, is outrageous. The two ordinances both include requirements for lenders to provide information about the true cost of the loan. The only difference between them is a $5,000 permit fee per company, which both Marler and Lutz said should be necessary as the money these lenders make don't even stay in the city. These stores that are providing these loans to people, the money doesn't stay in Springfield. So it's money that is being earned by Springfieldians that's then leaving Springfield. Most of this is not staying in our city. It's not even staying in our state. Other people who spoke at council agree. Payday loans contribute to making poor people poor by offering loans with hidden fees and high interest with no expectation that the person taking the loan will be able to pay it back with uh, but will instead take more money out to pay for that loan simply contributing to a cycle which is never ending. The fee to me is a way to keep at least some of that money uh, in our city rather than it going off to those multi-state corporations. Tonight's city council meeting was just the public comments and first reading. The council did not vote.